All right, guys, it's currently 7 a.m. in the morning. Just woken up, and I can already see the sun is beaming through, so it's not one of those crazy mornings. I don't wake up at five o'clock like every other video you see of this, but I still have to get up relatively early, get the day started. And I was up pretty late last night on my computer editing the whole night, so it's kind of rough and kind of tired this morning, but let's just, just, let's just get the day started. Hello, world. And now look at it, much brighter, I love this. I need to tidy up this room. Look at this mess down here, all round here. I need to make the bed. You know, I have like a goal in mind. I always make my bed first thing in the morning, because it is true. If you can't make your bed, it's not gonna be a good day. So I make this, I'm gonna tidy up the room a little bit, then go grab some breakfast. <laughs> All right, guys, the bed's all done. That's all done as well. I know I put everything back on the shelf, but it's all neat and ducks and stuff I use day to day. But you guys are probably thinking, what the hell is this? It's in the background. And this is actually my soundproof panels that I have on my wall. It actually fell off the other day. Here's my soundproof panels, and I've had it on my wall for the last probably nearly two years in my gaming setup. And out of nowhere, I just woke up one day and it fell off the wall. And the reason why it's cardboard at the back is because all these soundproof panels here, most people just stick them on one by one individually, but we actually stuck it to a big piece of cardboard then just stuck the cardboard to the wall one because it makes it easier and two for when you want to take it down or if it falls off in my case so if you're upgrading your gaming setup and want soundproof panels i recommend doing it this way it saves you a lot of time and effort and if you want to move them or take them down anyway i sidetracked there so now i'm off to get breakfast <music> to go back and get the cereal so I can only hold it at one hand to get this shot. I'm in this messy setup right now. I clean my bedroom, so I actually need to clean the setup as well today. It's probably definitely something, but I'm watching YouTube whilst I'm eating. I'm watching actually the new Mr. Beast and Colin and Samir podcast. What a good podcast this is. One interesting man, Mr. Beast is. Like, he is insane. He's the goat of YouTube. It's a great podcast, two hours long. I really do recommend watching it. Just an insight into Mr. Beast's life and what he does day to day. It's actually fascinating, especially if you love making content yourself and you want to be a YouTuber. It's just so fascinating to see the behind the scenes and what he does day to day. Day, so I really do recommend watching this podcast and it is a beautiful day here in the UK the weather has just been something else recently like you can't get better it's like we're in a different country like is this England are we living in America Spain where are we it really is the best way to start your day off with a nice ice what the hell was that at the bottom get off a leaf but it really is the best way to start your day with ice glass cold water literally i recommend it when you wake up have a glass of water do what you need to do just go outside in the air and just down one of these it'll make you feel so much better these days everyone seems to think that just having an energy drink will sort you out like a red bull or monster but at the end of the day it's all artificial shit it just makes you feel worse in the long run that's not even talking about the health issues they're cause and you know i'm not a doctor i'm not a scientist i'm not a nutritionist but it's pretty obvious stuff that these energy drinks are screwing you over in the long run it's just artificial shit at the end of the day it's just genuinely so nice and the sun is beautiful i love it england why can't you stay like this all year round okay so breakfast is complete and now let's get ready kick starting it with an electric brush that doesn't work currently <laughs> But honestly guys, waking up earlier is so much better. Like your days feel so much better when you wake up early, you get so much more done. But I just realized I've got an online call in literally five minutes. So I have to turn that off right there and get the laptop on. But my online call is in less than five minutes. So literally I'm gonna get on with this. It's an hour long, it's one to one as well. I don't know how I always forget. I'm gonna do this one hour and afterwards I can actually carry on my day. Literally I've got a few minutes to go, but I've just clicked on the last video and 2.6K views in six days. You guys seem to really be enjoying this style of content i really do enjoy making them and i think they're some of my best pieces of content and you guys seem to be enjoying it too so as long as you're enjoying them i was gonna keep upping the levels getting better and better every time but it seems to be going pretty well anyway i really got crack on my online lesson see you in a bit and finally the online call is over i'm actually off to the gym in a minute i've just started going again i rarely go to this is like a miracle to see me go to the gym and work out like what's happening but i really am the most unorganized person ever so let's get everything ready my water bottle and all that for the gym chuck that down there 
keys located, chuck the keys over there, and then my wallet is also there. That should be everything. Then last but not least, the soap's all there. Just got back from the gym, I was there for about an hour, and now with this afternoon, I'm actually quite busy. I've got to go edit a video, I'm pretty much finished, so I'm finishing off an edit that I'm really excited for you guys to see, like the video is coming out, I, it's just going to be so good. So I'm not going to give you any spoilers yet, I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the timeline. The timeline is nothing crazy, but for those people that edit their self and may be interested. So like I said, I just got back from the gym about half an hour ago, and I've got something cooking up that's really nice, I want to quickly show you it. So I'm going to quickly show you what I've been cooking up, my masterclass, and then I'll show you my editing timeline. But we've got something cooking the pots and pans let's have a look at this look at that absolutely brilliant a chicken curry and also can't wait to have this later tonight that's gonna be a feast and a half let's cover it back up oh no oh, it's so difficult one-handed and this is the video the timeline's nothing crazy like i've had really chaotic timelines in the past going like six audio tracks down this one's a pretty simple edit but the video itself is just really good, really entertaining. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm really excited for that. So right now, what I actually do, guys, when it comes to recording videos, I have sort of like a schedule in place. So I have recording sessions for editing, recording long form videos and short form content or TikToks. That's how I do it because with YouTube and TikTok having short form content and being meta right now, even if you want to make long form videos or be a YouTuber as your dream, you've got to do it. Every big creator does short form content because it is meta at the end of the day. But thank you guys so much for making it to the end end of the video and what could you type in what could you you know what type in the comments david beckham if you made it to the end type in david beckham in the comments just confuse everyone in the comments no one will know what you mean but i will know what you mean we will all know that you're the real ones that watch the full video and everyone will just be confused why david beckham is all in my comment section we all know who the top g's are of this channel the david beckham mafia <laughs> just type it in the comments guys if you made it this far you are the best